Hi, this is Janet Walker and I'm from Splash Magazines and I'm here with Barbara Lazaroff. Yes, it's a pleasure. Thank you, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell us a little bit about what's going on here today in the background. Well, this is our 27th American Cancer Wine and Food Festival. We have uh, quite a number of wonderful restaurants and vintners participating in all for the cause of cancer research, education, and care. And the American Cancer Society over the years has had such an impact on cancer research. Uh, there are over 25 Nobel laureates that have been affiliated with the American Cancer Society. Advances, progress have been made. I mean, people always hear the sequence. They get their diagnosis, they, they feel it's a diagnosis of death, and it's not always the case. My mother has stage four lung cancer, and is part of the 11% of people that are surviving. Uh, I've lost a lot of girlfriends over the years, but nonetheless, I have friends that are surviving because of research they've done on genetic markers, stem cell, and advancements in certain cocktails for chemotherapy and radiation. So progress is in the works and hope is always there. Courage, people that are here today, so many of them cancer survivors. We've had a great group of people working on this event and we're happy to we have our restaurants, Spago, Shinwa, WP24. We also have Matsuhisa, Red 7. We have a lot of uh, wonderful vendors here like Bonnie June and the, owner, the owner's mother is a cancer survivor for over 30 years, breast cancer. So it, there's enormous, um, a jubilant day because we see a lot of happy people. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You, I know that you are a woman of passion and that you live a, a boundless life. Uh, tell us of, of all your passions and of all your uh, charities and, and everything that you're involved with. Do you, do you, is there one that you consider more passionate than the others? Well, I start at home. You know, your children are always. <laughs> your biggest project if you're a good mother and if you're trying and um, because they're the future of the world. They're the people that are going to be hopefully have an altruistic core which will start early in terms of developing their children and hopefully those are the people that are going to give back as well and each of our charities we try to foster a young generation of people committees that are going to come in and continue the cause. But I'm involved in a number of cancer organizations besides this one I'm also work with the Aviva uh, girls, sexual abuse girls and education, and I redid the Annenberg house there, which uh, took about five years. And I'm involved with the Zimmer Children's Museum, and the biggest one, my biggest passion for 28 years, has been the American Wine and Food Festival, the Meals on Wheels, that feeds the homebound elderly and other people with HIV or AIDS or MS or CFN. Frankly, um, I don't think people realize that 50% uh, of the elderly pass away because of malnutrition. I don't think you let your mother or your grandmother starve to death. So I think we try to support the most disenfranchised people in our society. The young and the old are the most proud and the one that needs the most protection. And after today, what's next for you? Actually, I'm being honored by the Sara Project on August 24th. I'm going for HIV AIDS um, patients, where we provide homes, uh, they provide food, they pay for bills, and then I'm developing my new board for the American Wine Food Festival Foundation with a whole series of events. And so I've got to push into that, and also designing other projects, designing other wine plateware. Some of it will, a good portion of it will go to charity. So I'm constantly thinking of new ideas and trying to find venues and ideas and get other people involved in the cause. You feel better when you do something for someone else. You're right, you do. I'm here, Janet Walker, and this is Barbara Lazaroff.